Welcome to the video for the Anatomy and Physiology 1 lab at Westchester Community College. My name is Wilson. This will be the video to identify the female reproductive model structures. First, we have the greater vestibular gland, and then we have the mons pubis. Next, we have the ovary here. This is the ovary. We have the fallopian tube. This red structure is the fallopian tube or the uterine tube. And then we have the fimbriae. Here's the fimbriae. Next, for ligaments, we first have the ovarian ligament. Then we have the suspensory ligament. And then we have the round ligament. This would be the round ligament. And then this entire structure would be the broad ligament. The broad ligament. This entire structure is the uterus. For the uterus, we have the top dome portion. It's called the fundus. This center portion is called the body. And then this portion is called the cervix. And then around the cervix, we have the anterior fornix and the posterior fornix. Next, for the layers of the uterus, we have the perimetrium. In the middle, we have the myometrium. And then on the inside, we have the endometrium. Endometrium. Next, we have the vaginal canal. And then we have the urinary bladder here. The urinary bladder. We have the urethra here. And then in between the urinary bladder and the uterus, we have the vesico-uterine pouch. Vesico-uterine pouch. Then in between the uterus and the rectum, we have the recto-uterine pouch. Recto-uterine pouch. Next, we have here the clitoris. We have the labia minora, the labia majora, And then to finish off, everything that the labia minora encloses would be the vestibule. So this entire structure that is enclosed by the labia minora is called the vestibule. Thank you for watching.